Hey everyone, it's Connor here. Coifin has a vast library of global macro data which can be used to build watch lists like this one, comp sheets, custom dashboards, market dashboards, and charts. But today I want to strip all of that back and focus on how you can search the Coifin macro database more efficiently to find those data series. And how we're going to do that is go over to the advanced search section of Coifin. So if you remember from a previous video, I'll link that in the description, we showed you how to use advanced transcript search. We have similar functionality for all of the data series within the Coifin terminal. When you first jump into advanced security search, you're going to have a few options here. So I'll walk through those. The thing that we're going to be looking for is macro data. So some of this might not be as relevant. So we'll go over to the asset category first and we'll select economic from the list of asset categories that we have inside of Coifin. So now that we selected that, you can see the available filters is just for countries now. We have a search bar up here where we can search for terms, and this is going to be our output here in the middle. So just to give you a sense, if I go ahead and type in inflation here and search, it's going to give me every single data series we have, and there's 722 pages of those on inflation. If I want to narrow that down a little further, I can go over to the country filter here, and let's select United States, and we can see that we're just going to give you the core items that we have there. Alternatively, if I want to look for something like vehicle, any data series with the word vehicle in it, I can do so in the United States. We've got United States total vehicle sales. And if I hover over the ticker here, it's A going to inform me of what that ticker is, so I can use it in watch lists and charts. But I can either click into this or open it into a new page, where you now have that data represented in chart form like this. The data library is wide, so it takes some time to get familiar with it. If I go ahead and type in California here, for example, you can see that we have 38 pages of data related to California. So one of the biggest constraints with macro data is how their nomenclature is set up or the naming convention that they have. Sometimes it can be awkward and not knowable in advance. I'm going to show you a quick hack to solve that problem if you're struggling to find it within Coifin. So Coifin uses an array of data vendors for macroeconomic data. Two of the biggest are FRED from the Federal Reserve and Trading Economics. A great hack for whenever you're unsure of the naming convention of the data series or you want the specific ticker is to go on Google or any other search engine, type in the approximate data series that you're looking for. Here I've typed in Fed balance sheet and then just end the search query with the word FRED or Trading Economics. So I'm going to search Fed balance sheet FRED here. And these are the search results. You can see the top item here, assets for the federal balance sheet. We'll click on this and it's going to pull us into the FRED tool. And here we can either just take the exact nomenclature and punch that into Coifin, or we can take the ticker as well, which FRED handily provides. We'll go back to Coifin and we'll go to the search bar and we'll just type in that ticker. And now we can see that that data indicator is on Coifin. We'll pull that up into a chart and we can see that the Fed balance sheet has been declining over time. We can go in there and add some statistical bands and see what the high was. We can get rid of this total return and add some drawdown from peak as well. So we can see that it's about 14% down from the 2022 high. This is a really effective workaround because some of the naming conventions of these data series are just awkward and they're not intuitive. So credit card default rate in the US, for example, if we go ahead and search for that, Without even adding Fred to the search query, we've got a result here. So delinquency rate on credit card loans, comma, all commercial banks. I don't think it's that intuitive that you would know what this data series is called. So you could take the ticker there. Alternatively, we'll show you the other way of doing it. You can just highlight the name because we'll use the exact same naming convention, paste that into Coifin, and you're going to be able to see that now as well. So from a quick glance, we can see the delinquency rate on credit card loans across the US has been spiking. But if we pull that out across a longer time scale, we can see it's not that high relative to historic norms. You can do this with trading economics as well. Their database tends to be more global in scale. If you're looking at US data, FRED is usually the best bet. For anything international, trading economics is, is usually where you want to go. So UK inflation, for example, I know that's pretty intuitive, but just for an example, if we come in here, it's going to be the exact same nomenclature that, we, that trading economics uses inside of Coifin. So again, we can find that UK inflation rate and we have the ticker there as well. As I said at the beginning, this data is very useful, whether you're using it in a watch list setting or you're creating custom dashboards like this one, for example, which shows the credit card default rate and the rate of change over time. It's got some unemployment rate data there for the UK and US. We've got initial claims here as well. 
Here's another example of a dashboard, which just has that inflation watch list that I showed you earlier. It maps out headline, core, month over month, year over year for all the countries that I'm interested in. Down here, we're showing it on a month over month. In this chart, up here, we're showing it on a year over year. We have videos in the Coifin YouTube library that explain how to build these custom charts and use watch this as well. So I'd recommend checking those out. But the core purpose of this video is to show you how you can more efficiently find the macro data inside of Coifin. I hope that's been helpful. As always, you can reach out to us at Coifin Charts over on Twitter. You can email the help desk, which is help at coifin.com, or you can drop a comment in the comment section below. Thank you.